Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a hike around the Hollywood Reservoir. It is a simple, flat, easy three mile hike with great views of the Hollywood sign and it crosses over Mulholland Dam. There are a number of places that you can park to get access to different areas in the Hollywood Reservoir. I like to park here at the intersection of Tahoe Drive and Lake Hollywood and the reason is because the first part of this hike is really boring so I want to get the boring stuff out of the way first. Now you might be tempted to enter through this Hollywood sign uh, to start the hike that way but don't do it. You're going to go counterclockwise and the reason is because you will get great views of the Hollywood sign if you're going counterclockwise. If you go this way clockwise around the lake the Hollywood sign is going to be to your back so you're going to miss some of those great views. Anyway let's get started. This first part of the hike is so uninteresting that I didn't film any of it when I was hiking it. So I got back in my car just to show you what the trail looks like. Now if you park at this trailhead entrance, you can do an out and back instead of a full circle around the reservoir and you'll completely skip the boring part. All right, so now we're getting to the fun part of the hike where we're actually going to be in a no car zone and we'll actually get to see the reservoir. So as you walk in the gate, you are greeted with this sign that gives you the hours and the rules of the park. Now pay attention to when the park closes because they do lock the gate at that time. Then you'll just continue walking along this path Look what I found. It's a little deer. How cute. That's so cool. From here, you'll continue along the path. You can see that it's popular with joggers and bicyclists. This fence runs along the path until you get to Mulholland Dam. Then you'll get some great unobstructed views. I tried to hold my tripod above the fence to get some views along the path, and I succeeded. Getting a great view of the barbed wire. Still, it's a really nice walk. But it's Mulholland Dam and the views from the dam that you really want to see. Reservoir was created by building this dam, the Mulholland Dam. It was designed and engineered by William Mulholland, who was the chief engineer at what's now known as the Department of Water and Power. The sole purpose of the lake was to provide a water supply for the city of LA. This can hold 2.5 billion gallons of water. The dam was started in August of 1923 and finished in December of 1924. It is a concrete arch gravity dam, meaning that this curve pushes back against the weight of the water and distributes it evenly so it keeps the dam from collapsing. This is the actual spot where William Mulholland stood when he dedicated the Mulholland Dam on St. Patrick's Day in 1925. Take a look at these photos. These stair step arches are simply gorgeous and the bears heads coming out. Those are still visible, but look at what it looks like today. What happened to those gorgeous stairs? After this dam was built, Mulholland designed and built another gravity arch dam in the Santa Clarita area. They started that 
like March of 1925 and it finished about a year later in March of 1926. While Mulholland was building it, he decided to add 10 more feet to it. And then a few months later, he decided to add another 10 feet to it. So he added a total of 20 feet to the height of the dam without taking the foundation into consideration. It took two years to completely fill that reservoir. And Mulholland came out, he inspected it, all was good. And then 12 hours later, the dam broke near midnight and it took two years to fill it up and about an hour for all of the water to be released to the towns. More than 600 people died in that tragedy. So the people who were already opposed to this dam, which was built before, they didn't want the same thing to happen. So they kept pushing the city. Is it safe? Uh, could this happen here? The city finally relented and in the 1930s, they reinforced the back of the dam with uh, earth and the landscaping. The landscaping is beautiful, but we lost all of those gorgeous stair steps. And because people were no longer looking at the white concrete dam, they were looking at, you know, some really nice landscaping, they became more accepting of the dam. So I mentioned earlier that the reservoir was created as a water supply for the people in this area. And it was used as a water supply until 9-11. Then there were concerns that because it was open, terrorists could poison the water and therefore uh, poison the people here. So the city of LA built two huge water tanks and moved the water supply up there. The water here is now used as a backup source for fighting fires. It would be really nice if they could turn this into a recreation area, but one of the security guards who patrols the area said that it's in the homeowner's covenants for the people who live here that the water and the reservoir is for their use exclusively. So <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to become a recreational area anytime soon, but you can enjoy these paths to walk around, uh, ride your bike, jog. It is a really nice area. When you're finished admiring the lake and the view, continue around the path. If you look up, you'll see this house with the spires this is where we were in the secret stairs of Hollywood land when we were looking down on the reservoir. You get some great views of the Hollywood sign on this part of the hike. This house with the curved wall, Madonna used to live there. You see why I said you want to take the hike counterclockwise? If you had come in from the Hollywood Gate, you would have your back to this. Pretty soon, you're back where you started at the Hollywood Gate. So if you like this video, consider checking out The Secret Stairs of Hollywood Land. It takes place right on the other side of these hills. I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.